home decor. We make gifts of napkins for serving tea. Hello to all the needlewomen with an irrepressible craving for creativity. One of these peckwork techniques allows you to express your creative potential and imagination, creating unique items that will become an original decoration of the kitchen. At the same time, oven mitts and cup holders by the peckwork method are also practical as they protect surfaces from hot objects and condensation. It's a great way to add style and personality to everyday life. Napkins in the peckwork technique can become a stylish and practical addition, adding bright and saturated colors to the kitchen interior. I like what I've done today. If you like my channel, then subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Let's start working. Let's start working. We cut strips we of, cut arbitrary, strips of width. arbitrary width. I have each about I have the main five five here is to centimeters. choose a beautiful color. The main criterion is a beautiful combination. You can take a maximum of six different color pieces of fabrics. If more, it will be difficult to arrange it harmoniously in color. I advise you to do this as a professional artist. I took for different fabrics and just repeated their rhythm. One of them is bright with an active pattern. And it still has three additional colors. Blue with a small discrete pattern, turquoise, and shiny lyric stripes. The blue and yellow stripes are plain. There are a total of six different colors that match well with each other. And the finishing oblique label is the seventh color, but similar in color with a yellow stripe. How do you like the color? We choose the fabric base on which we will sew strips of fabric. When the stripes are sewn, it is necessary to iron the canvas and trim off all the excess at the edges. Now let's prepare the pattern. I cut out a piece of paper and I want to make the strips go diagonally from the middle. So you need to make a seam in the middle. I cut out the details of the leaf from the prepared canvas, sew it in the middle and iron it.
I also cut out the bottom lining. Put all the details together. So the edges, so that they do not crumble. Now I take a ready-made oblique bake, suitable in color. Smooth it in half. Mark it and carefully trim all the details. I looked at my leaves and decided that a modest machine embroidery would add vivacity. Everything is ready. Now I'm admiring my work. What I noticed, I love my work very much. I constantly admire them. Probably because I do it with pleasure. But I also see, of course, shortcomings in the work. I will take this into account in my next work. Good luck to you and your work, dear needlewomen.